Welcome to Prospect Portal User View Managing Incoming Prospect Messages. From the home page under Office Overview, we see your office has two new prospect messages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link to see what they are. Let's see, I have one from Tommy Izzo, how much you charge, another one from D. Kern, general question. Okay, so from here, I could reply to them. And they would an email would be sent directly to them with your reply message. Uh, they in turn could respond back, but they have to fill out the information on the landing page again to get the information to flow back into Adam. So with with Dkern here, I'm going to go ahead and reply back to them. All right, but before I do that, I want to point out everything on here. So I have subject, the message, their phone and their email would be right here. Um, who created it, which should be them. Uh, date created, tracking, we're gonna track how much time elapsed before we reply back to them. Message, that means, um, in this case, this is the first message that uh, she has sent to me. If this person, if I reply to her and they send another message back, this message count would then be two and it'd be highlighted in red, just so uh, I would know that this person has sent a message prior so that I have some kind of correspondence going back and forth, and then I try to locate that first message to read before I reply back. Uh, the status, I could assign this. If I select the edit pencil, I can assign it to a specific person. So if I'm not able to reply back to this message, um, in the case, I'll assign it to myself. I'll show you how this works. Okay, I'll just stamp date it. And now you notice the status says received. As soon as I hit assigned, it's now gonna be removed from here, now it's down grouped as assigned. And as you notice up here, this Tommy Izzo hits highlight in yellow. That means it most likely hasn't been acted on yet. Once it's assigned, then it's no longer highlighted in yellow. If I go to my home page, now I just have one new prospect message, but in total there's two sitting in there, but one is considered new because I haven't acted on it yet. So if I go back to my assigned, it's only focusing on here because I'm gonna reply back to them. Um, start and end dates, and then a referral type. In this case, this person was internet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reply back to them. So I just click on the reply icon. That's just gonna pop up here. So would like a quote on my taxes. I'll just say um, our overall fees range from 135 to 200 depending on the complexity of your return. Okay, and I hit send. Okay, it says your message was sent successfully. So then an email, not a portal message or anything because they're not even in our system yet, just an email went sent to their back to their email and with that message you just said, now if they wanna reply back, they're gonna to have to fill out the landing page to get back. There's actually a link inside the email to the landing page and they would fill that back out. And But that's the only way we can get it back into, into Adam. Okay, so that's how you reply back to them. Now if you, let me go back to my home page here. I'm gonna see the received. So this is my received one. So Tommy here, I haven't acted on him yet. So I'm gonna set him up. I think I'd like to have Tom Izzo as a client, so I'm going to try to win him over. I'm not just, I'm not just going to reply back to him. I'm actually going to do some tracking. I'm going to follow up with him. So in order to do that, I'm going to set him up as a contact inside of Adam. So I'm going to hit this add contact. And what that does, it's going to try to set him up as a, uh, as actually probably like a, a client, okay, because my, and my user, Right here, my default business type is actually tax preparation. So it's gonna to try to set him up as a tax client. All right, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna switch him over to a, a prospect business type and not a tax business type, tax preparation business type. So we have the access code in here. Typically that's gonna be his phone number. We just put an X in there, but that would be his phone number normally to access code. His name's gonna flow in here, his email. Uh, this would be his contact and his phone number would display there if I would have filled it out. All I'm going to do is hit save contact information. Okay, so now I come down here, I look under my account information and the referral type, 
flows over because he said his a friend referred him. The site's going to default to the site. Now business type, this is where it gets a little tricky. So business type's going to default to tax prep because on my user page, my default business type is tax prep because that's predominantly what we do is just tax clients. So what I'm going to want to do, and then the office event lobby automatically was created. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the business type to prospect because he's not a client yet, he's a prospect. All right, now my referral switched over. I just got to go ahead and pick back to refer a friend. And right here where it says reset office events, what that does, I'm going to check that box is because it's going to clear out lobby because this lobby was associated with business type tax preparation. So now I want the new office event to display linked to business type prospect. So I check that box to clear out the old office events. I hit save. And my pop-up box here, referral, I'll, I'll fill that in later. Close that. So now I've switched over to business type prospect. And my new office event for that is, is called setup. All right, so from here, I can decide what I want to do. So I might want to fill in some of these account type, all that at this point is NA for not applicable. My user, if I want to put anyone in there, I could put down um, in this example. Do I have not assigned yet? And then my status, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select follow up, all right, because I want to follow up with him. I'm going to hound him until I get him in here as a client. So now my follow is business type or office event is follow up, all right. Now if I scroll up here, I do have my prospect messages. So I haven't replied back to Tommy yet. All I did is set him up as a contact because I really want to track him. That other individual, um, when I just replied back to him, um, I'm hoping he comes in, but I'm not going to spend enough time to track him. But I'm going to go ahead and track Tommy. So I'll go ahead and reply back to Tommy right now. Uh, let's see. Is it going to let me do it? Oh, I don't have a reply link on here. Let me go up to my home page and go back to my new prospect. I said, okay, here's my reply. So I'm going to click on reply. And I'll say... Uh, again, our fees start at 135 to 200. We would really like you as a client. Can I call you? Okay. And then I hit send. So now that's going to go again. That's going to go right back to him as a regular email. Now I'm going to go into his file. So my home page, I'm going to switch over here to prospect. And there it is, follow up. So I created these office events. And then, you know, as same, it's no different than going to tax prep office events. All I did is customize this for my prospect. So it's a very simple, basic one. All I did is say follow up. I also will track not interested. And then when they become a new client. So I'm going to hit follow up. And here's Tommy here. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type a message so I know what I just did. So I'm going to select the edit pencil and I could put a predefined note in here if I wanted saying I sent him a portal message. So I'm going to click here and just say um, replied through prospect portal. Okay. And if I wanted to follow up with him, I could assign this back to myself and set so many dates. Assign it to me saying five days to follow up. If I had a client notification set up for this client, I could automatically have client notification, like emails go out to him every five days, bothering Tommy saying, please come in as a client, you know, we're the best in town, whatever you want to do. But now you're able to track him. So now when I go to my home page, I can see all the ones in follow up. I can see the last time they were contacted and whether I need to contact them again. All right. And then, so this is, Basically, what I wanted to show you in this video is just how you can manage your prospect messages coming in. Either reply back to them immediately and not track them, or obviously reply back to them, and then you then keep track of them, and then if you want to follow up with them later. So it all depends on your business model, how you track your prospects, and how much um, you want to go after them. But this would be a way of 
of tracking them and following them. You could have multiple, if you mail things to them, you could have an event called mail outs. And then, you know, your staff would send mail outs based on who's in that office event. But that's all I have for you regarding uh, tracking incoming messages for prospects. Thank you.